Today we are looking at how to program the Baofeng UV5RH. We're going to be looking at using the Chirp software as well as the Baofeng software and the differences between the two, what advantage th advantages there are to each, and uh, which one might work for you or maybe using both would uh, uh, get you where you need to be with your Baofeng. Let's dive into this. <laughs> To start with, you obviously need a Baofeng UV5RH. This one is already programmed with uh, some frequencies that I've been playing around with. And you need a Baofeng cable. Uh, this is one that came with just a Baofeng UV5R that I have. I've only had the one cable. It works well for me. There's lots of reports of uh, cables uh, that either, you know, incompatible with certain versions of Windows or uh, things like that. Um, I'm not a whole lot sure about that, but this cable does work for me, and I got it with just a AliExpress Baofeng uh, UV5R uh, quite some time ago. Um, so once you got these, let's uh, make sure you have Chirp installed on your computer. Uh, I'm not going to show you how uh, to install Chirp. I already have Chirp installed over here today, um, but chirp uh, chirpmyradio.com will get you the software. Here's the list of all the radios that uh, Chirp will work with. Um, Today, obviously, we're using the Baofeng UV5RH, and you will notice that it's actually not listed in here. Uh, so we're actually going to have to use a different radio that does work uh, just as well. So here we go. Uh, we're going to first, we're going to take our cable, plug it into our computer. We will plug this into the radio. Make sure it is firmly connected. And then on the computer, we're going to go radio, download from radio. Now it's going to ask us what we're using, and you're going to put Baofeng 5RM. That is the, the equivalent. There's a few models of the UV5RH, and I guess the 5RM is the closest one. Seems to work so far for what I've been working with, and I know that uh, I'm on COM port 6 here. It might be different on your computer depending on where you've plugged your cable in. And we're going to go OK, and what we should and uh, what we should see on the radio is uh, the, the light start going. Let's see, yep, we're, oh, uh, let's, yep, that's why that prompt comes up. We need to make sure that we turn the radio on. And we're on a frequency that we can transmit on that doesn't have anything going on. All right, I'm going to make sure I don't click that because I sometimes forget. Okay, so we're cloning the radio. As you can see, a little computer on there and uh, the light flashing red. And it does a reboot, and look, there's all the repeaters that I have programmed into this radio. So um, that is that is in essence how you connect this radio to Chirp. Uh, and then if you wanted to program more frequencies in, obviously, uh, you can see my list here of my local repeaters. There is also, um, you can open... Uh, through this, you can open all these different, uh, the marine channels, the calling frequencies, and all these will can be added to your uh, programming if you're starting with a fresh file. You can also use query source. So this is repeater book, um, which will actually do, uh, you know, amateur radio and uh, um, other type frequencies. You put in your location and it should pull up any of the amateur radio repeaters. That are nearby. So this is on a different uh, tab here you see, so you can take any of these ones that you may want and uh, go and plug it into your, your configuration. Then once you are configured you, how you want the radio to look, you would go radio and you'd go upload to radio. It's going to give you the same instructions and you're going to click OK and it's going to send off and uh, do the exact same thing. Now, I didn't make any changes, so I'm not going to hit the send button right now, but it would do the exact same thing. You'd see the little light uh, start flashing. I think it flashes green. Uh, it's possible it flashes red. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then your, your programming would go in. Now, Chirp only works 
to program in these, just your, your basic frequencies, your names uh, and uh, tones and all that kind of stuff. This radio actually features an, a couple of features. As you guys may have seen uh, when I turned it on, I actually have my little face logo on this, this radio as well. And you can't do that from Chirp. For whatever reason, uh, it just, you, there's no settings for it. I've, I've messed around with it a little bit and I cannot find anything uh, um, to, you know, get into that. Now you can, you know, in the basic settings here, obviously, if you're not familiar with this, you can uh, uh, change it and it, sh you know, you can sh show the logo or the battery voltage, but it doesn't have a place to actually upload the logo. So, <coughs> excuse me, what I have found is there is another piece of software. UV5RH software. Let's go check this out. So under this Miklor website, I've been to this site a few times having a look at some of this stuff. You can download this one here, Baofeng UV5RH. It says T6UV. I'm not sure if that's another model, but regardless, this one here for the 5RH, it downloads. So I've already got this I've already got this software installed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. T6, there it is. Let's pull this up. It looks virtually the same. Now, all I've done is read from the radio, start does the exact same tricks here. Oh, I forgot to turn the radio on. That is a failure. So this one doesn't give you that information, but here, let's turn the radio on all the way. Uh, change the COM port to COM, oh, COM port six is what we want. Okay, we're on COM port six. Now we will click read on the radio and we should see the magic light start as soon as we click start. There we go. So that's the telltale sign that the computer is connected. It's reading the radio. Quickly like that, finish. It pulls up all our frequencies as well. This one doesn't have the connections that uh, the other radio program has with uh, Chirp and that sort of thing. So I find it a little bit more cumbersome. Also, obviously, with Chirp, it's a little bit more easy to pull uh, configurations over from other radios. Maybe if you're trying to, uh, you know, you have another handheld and you're trying to copy the, the files over. It's a lot easier in Chirp than it is because this software is only compatible with this one radio. Um, but this one does have the tools like the power on picture where you can actually upload your image to, to have set up on your on your device. So just be sure you are having the image size. And I think it is a uh, let me see a BMP format that it uh, that it is looking for. So make sure you have a BMP format. And uh, I know I had a little bit of trouble getting it into the file form or the size that it wanted. Um, but once you have the size and everything correct, it should have no problem putting uh, your image, uh, startup image on the radio. Um, but that's the only thing that I use this software for. Other than that, I would use the Chirp software um, to get all my information into the radio. Um, so that's, that is it. There you have it, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll see if I can help you. Um, otherwise, Thank you so much for watching and uh, we will see you in the next one.